The Hong Kong courts has convicted journalists of sedition for the first time in decades. Let's bring in Rebecca Chung Wilkins, our Asia government and economy correspondent, joining us right now to walk us through the details of that verdict. Yes. Yeah, so two top uh, editors from Stan News, which was a publication that rose to prominence really in 2019, extensively covering the protests, have been charged with sedition, mm. as well as the parent company of Stan News, who was effectively not represented uh, but legally. Um, mm. And it's significant because it's the first time in decades since 1997, when Hong Kong returned uh, to Chinese rule, that we've actually seen journalists charged under this sedition case. Um, and the so prosecution put forward 17 articles that it said showed were evidence of this sedition. 11 of those articles, the court ruled, did show this sedition intention. Uh, many of the articles were interviews with pro-democracy activists. There were mentions also that they had uh, essentially incited hatred against the central authorities, against the Hong Kong government. So some quite sharp criticism uh, in, in the judgment. And this trial is sort of seen as a barometer of press freedoms in Hong Kong. What does it tell you about maybe what's to come? Yeah, absolutely. I think it was really closely watched. And it did strike me, the courtroom itself, I was there, and then the overflow room, both full with press, members of the public, and of course, as expected, lots of diplomats from various missions. And we do have that international concern reflected in some of the responses. The U.S. spokesperson was there. She told me that the U.S. you know, urges uh, Beijing and Hong Kong to continue to allow journalists to do their jobs, uh, very clearly saying that journalism is not a crime and that criticism of the ruling was echoed statements from the UK as well as from the EU. Now the Hong Kong government has said that you know the ruling today is a good thing essentially uh, and reinforces Hong Kong and, and the rule of law and so on but it is certainly a concern. Hong Kong used to be sort of really well known as this vibrant haven of many different diverse media voices and that has drastically changed over the past five years or so.